<laughs> Hi friends. Okay, so let me explain. I've got my Snoopy shirt on. I've got my sweatpants. I've got my fuzzy socks. You should get comfortable too because we're doing another Reasons to Live video. And I thought, why not do it as if we're having a nice, comfortable talk in my room, on my bed. <laughs> so get comfortable, grab some warm drink or cold if it's hot, you never know. And we're gonna talk about some things, okay? If you haven't seen my other Reasons to Live videos, basically, I'm making this because I want you to live and I think you're amazing. If you've ever been through any sort of pain or struggling and you're still here, you're amazing. <laughs> I said it just like that before, but it's true. There's only one way to say it and that's sing songy because truly, you're amazing. You're worthy of love. I love you. I think you deserve to be here and everything you're going through is valid. Like, no one can judge what you're going through but yourself. There's a reason that you're here. There's stuff you gotta do because you're important. No one can replicate you. No one can replicate your, okay. No one can replicate your thoughts or your potential waiting to be discovered and shared. It's true, honestly. You have so much a potential. <laughs> a potential, I'm sorry. I can't talk, but it's okay because we're just hanging out. You deserve to be here. Everyone has their important role to play in the world because even small actions can have big effects and that sounds corny, but let me tell you, it is true. The butterfly effect, look that up. It's never too late to experience life to the fullest. And because of that, the pain that you have gone through or are going through right now will be worth it in the end because it's temporary everything's temporary and after surviving all of that and living through it hot damn you're amazing <laughs> <laughs> once it subsides you'll know and have proof that you can accomplish anything if you can come wait Oh, you can accomplish anything if you were able to survive that. I forgot my sentence, I'm sorry. Okay. You are worthy of support and help and you're worthy of friendship, which is not too late to be formed and bonded if you don't have friends that you like right now or you feel like you don't know very many people or anyone at all. It's never too late to find more friends. There will always be people who are going to love you in the future. I can guarantee that. All right, you're amazing, you're loved, you're worthy of love, and I love you. And you still have a chance to return that love back to yourself. It's never too late to appreciate yourself and your body and everything else that comes with it <laughs> for keeping you here. So with that, let's get into the new reasons. Are you ready? Can you guess some of them? Tell me some of your reasons to live in the comments because I like hearing what you guys think or if you relate to any of these. So, let's see, I got my list on my phone. <laughs> We're gonna go through them, a few of them. Reason number 35 is seeing your friend smile. I already talked about m making other people laugh in another video like part two, but just seeing someone smile is nice. Like, but I like specifically friends, like people that you know and have some sort of connection with. It's nice to see them happy because hopefully you like your friends and <laughs> seeing them happy makes you feel happy. And that's kind of adorable because when you smile, that means you're making them happy. That's so cute. That's the next reason. Okay, let's keep going. Loving and loyal pets. They, like animals, are too pure for this world. <laughs> but honestly, like, 
I always think it's nice to come know that you like are coming home or if you have some random thoughts you don't want to share with anyone you can just say them to your pet they'll just listen it doesn't even matter who you are what you think what you do your pets are still gonna love you <laughs> that's a pretty dang good reason to live okay i need to stop being a weirdo <laughs> oh i like this one uh, spreading awareness on issues you know about that others might not have experience in and this like has played a large role in my life because I've had well like particularly with disabilities and stuff people really don't get that but I mean having that practice has led me to be able to talk about LGBTQ identities easier because like if you spread awareness or you talk about something that you've been through, that's considered spreading awareness to me because someone else who thinks that they're alone out there is going to hear about your experience. Like if you're watching this video because you're feeling sad or lonely or depressed or wanting to find a reason to live or if you're just wanting to relax, like plenty of people can relate with those things too you're not alone and by sharing that you're experiencing those things other people will realize like hey i'm not alone in feeling like this too like i'm not strange or i'm it's not unusual and there's no normal for how you're supposed to feel like we experience so many things it's nice to hear that other people have those like they've been through something similar but also, if other people don't have experience in that, then you're advocating just by talking about what you've been through for other people who don't have a voice on these things, which is freaking amazing. Like, that's really valuable, friendo. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a two-part reason. Finding new ways to express yourself from the inside and outside, which are very different. Because to me, Expressing myself from the inside and outside are related, but it doesn't always have to relate. Like, I found a, a new way to express myself by writing down my dreams and no one else has to read it, but like, or if I sort through them in my head or something, then it causes me less stress, basically. And it's a way to express myself because it's something that my brain made. <laughs> but finding new ways to express yourself from the outside is really fun. Like, even if it's just like you want to paint your nails or just one nail, I mean, hey. Or <laughs> you want to dye a strand of your hair or your whole head. Or you just want to wear a new color in your wardrobe or new shoes or... You want to start talking to people more or saying what you're thinking instead of keeping it to yourself. It's refreshing to have new ways to express yourself and express inner thoughts, pull them outwards, pull things from the outside. Like if you see something going on and you reflect inwards or find a new way to think about something, it brings some sort of like relief of pressure you've been holding from whatever you were thinking about or like sometimes you have stuff that you're worrying about that's underneath the surface and you didn't even know it was a big deal to your brain till you think about it. Volunteering for something you care for uh, and this doesn't have to do with just like work like usually it's nice to volunteer for something that you don't feel like is work. Um, I have a cute story I always volunteer during, like, during high school you're required to volunteer, but obviously there's thousands of things you can volunteer for, and I chose to volunteer for this camp for kids with disabilities, like, a whole range of disabilities, um, but this one kid had autism, and I'll just use they, them pronouns. So this kid was assigned to me and we had 
an interesting time. Like, this kid was mostly nonverbal, but it was hard for them to get through the camp, but they did it, which was freaking amazing. Like, it was awesome to see how they did that because, like, obviously, we had to work together to find out what they were comfortable with, like, pushing themselves to do or, like, what they just wanted to stay out or, like, what they needed and what the staff required, whatever else, anyway. I, by the end of the week, was super tired because I was feeling really sick and they had, like, some of their stimming was, um, like, pressure, like, physical pressure. So, like, sometimes if certain people with autism get overwhelmed and you apply physical pressure, it's, like, soothing for them. Um, they were one of those people, and so they were bigger than me and, like, accidentally hit me once and all this stuff. It was just kind of a stressful week, but I... I still enjoyed it, like I looked forward to going every day and like helping them figure out how to navigate the camp in the least stressful way possible. Um, and I had help from the staff and stuff, but the last day they just really wanted to go home and I felt so bad, like I didn't want to make them do very much so I kept having to talk to the staff and be like, hey. I know you want to push these kids, but I don't, I like, I can see we're hitting a wall here. <laughs> so we had to just sit in a quiet room and read some stuff and hang out. And at the very end, I like, normally we don't see their parents. They go to a se separate spot to get picked up while all the volunteers clean up. I was waiting with them separately and their parent, came into the private room and handed me a card. And I was like, oh my God, that's really sweet. I've never received one. Like I had volunteered multiple times like throughout the years with this camp and I've never got a card. And um, the dad was like telling me like, thank you. And I was like, oh sure, like of course, it's no problem. We had a good time and whatever else and then he's like I want it like we wanted to thank you because this is the f the only time they've like our child has ever come home and said the name of the person that they were with like they said my name and like that they wanted to see me or that they had a good time with me and they're mostly non-verbal and I just felt like it was so special <laughs> like everything we had been through together but if I didn't volunteer and like try to do something, I wouldn't have had that in return. Like it felt like a gift to me more than anything and a reason to keep going because I felt like I could make an impact just by being there for someone that I didn't know at the beginning of the week. Um, sorry if that was a long story, but it's one of my favorite stories. And it's the only, like one of the only stories where I really like can remember not minding my dead name. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. Phew. Another reason to live, being a good friend for someone who like really needs it at the moment because I think normally that type of shared experience is really cathartic and comforting. Like comforting other people sometimes can be comforting for yourself. And I always find myself looking forward to that. Like, I have no problem jumping in if someone says that they're upset or something and be like, oh, well, let's talk about it or something. Because usually the good friends are the ones that will do that back for you. Okay, this is more of an image. <laughs> Sharing space with someone quietly, but in a full way. That might sound weird, but like, have you ever felt like a full silence where you're just sitting and hanging out with someone, but you're either just happy to just like be and like sit there together, sharing their company 
and like not necessarily having pressure to say anything that's like a lot of full space in a quiet space like i feel like people think of quiet as empty but it doesn't have to be sometimes like if you just need someone to share space with you it's nice to just sit with people quietly um i always look forward to those moments that aren't feeling like there's any pressure to talk or say certain things or there's more freedom in it in a way or like more impact to what is said if there isn't much being said. <laughs> Another one is gift giving. This is really simple. And even if you don't necessarily have financial means to give physical gifts, I think still like supporting someone in some way is a gift too and it's rewarding and I guess it relates to volunteering but this is more general because like volunteering is more of your time and giving a gift to someone is more thinking about what they like or sharing what you think you might like with someone else because you want them to feel happy like you're feeling. <laughs> I think it's adorable. It's a nice experience and one of my favorite parts of existing. <laughs> this is a personal one for me, but finding art within everything. That sounds really weird. I'm not talking about like, oh, this stick is art. <laughs> but I like to look at things and analyze them. Um, that sounds weird, but like... <laughs> I just feel like art tells stories and there's stories to everything around us like we don't think about it but everything in the world is designed well I mean artists think about that most people don't that's why I'm saying we <laughs> but like every single screw and like every single chopped piece of wood that all has a design to it with a deliberate idea of how it would be used or what it should look like. And there's literally art everywhere, even if there's just some crazy patterns on a leaf. You can stare at it for as long as you want because that's a lot of intricate detail. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I just love observing things and it's something that I look forward to because it's very relaxing to like look at something very physical and visual. I guess if any part of your sight is impaired, this might not be very relatable, <laughs> but uh, as a visual artist, that's what I think about a lot. Discovering or learning new scientific facts about the earth i mean i guess it doesn't have to be about just the earth but just like learning things like there's that thing like you learn something new every day <laughs> i think it's kind of true but i mean we just don't realize what we're learning our brain is just always constantly adapting and categorizing and discovering and it's rewarding to learn things because a lot of stuff applies to other things which then you can learn more about or have more of an educated guess about anyways i think learning things is fun and something to look forward to like when i don't know what to do with my life i look for something to learn about <laughs> and it doesn't have to be that big like it can just be something that you're curious about this relates to learning to new things and adapting giving yourself room to grow i think a lot of times we're afraid to make mistakes but i love mistakes in a way obviously they're painful <laughs> they're not very fun to experience in the moment but usually they lead to better things because you can improve how you live your life through mistakes and if you give yourself the room to grow through them then you'll really improve and be able to get what to what you want to experience easier 
I think it's rewarding and exciting when you give yourself space to grow. This was a combination one because giving yourself room to grow and discovering new aspects of yourself in the process, I just forgot that I even wrote that. And I really like that one <laughs> because um, a lot of growth is about self-discovery and people think like you need to do self-discovering to grow but I think a lot of the times it's the opposite like as you're learning and adapting through life and whatever else growing then you do find new aspects of yourself through that like I think sometimes that kind of ends the struggle to discover like more of yourself like what do I want to be who am I because if you just let yourself be let yourself grow and adapt and change you can observe those things how you experience things and find new aspects of yourself so it solves the who am I or what do I want problems in a weird cycle of events <laughs> <laughs> Hearing about new aspects of others you care about. I like finding new sides to people that I care about, like people can surprise you, or as they grow, it's nice to be able to change and grow with people and learn more about them. It's kind of like you know how sometimes there's that feeling that you're like, oh god, what if we run out of things to talk about? <laughs> but since everything is temporary and things will shift and change, it leads to new exciting adventures with people you care about. They'll be discovering things, learning things, just like you are. So things are less boring than they seem like they might be. Oh, this is another vibe or feeling. Seeing how much you have accomplished and those rare moments where you can feel like truly proud about yourself, not just like, oh yeah, glad I did that, <laughs> but like, wow, I'm impressed <laughs> type of feeling. Like, I think it's good when that's rare because it makes it more special. It's more of a drive to like continually keep going and like re-inspire yourself by your own accomplishments. And if you can't relate to that right now, I think maybe there's some hidden things to discover. Like, or if you can't feel proud of yourself because of how badly you might be feeling or negative feelings about yourself and you're still going like, Holy crap, I'm proud of you. <laughs> so I think you should be proud too because it's kind of impressive. It's very difficult to keep going. We're not made to feel okay when we're uncomfortable. Like our brain wants us to solve the situation, but sometimes it's not controllable. So, well, I mean, that's why your brain keeps being like, warning. We are in pain. <laughs> but um, if you're surviving through that, that's pretty amazing. I wrote contributing to the ecosystem, LOL. <laughs> I think that can have some negative connotations right now, but let's just go with like positive contributions to the environment. But I mean, the ecosystem is more of like what makes the world go round, where environment is more of like the world. You know what I mean? Anyways, your existence contributes to the ecosystem. <laughs> Whether you affect it in one way or another, it, I don't know, we're designed to contribute to the ecosystem. Their contributions matter. Maybe even if like we might harm the ecosystem hopefully we're doing what we can to not do that like maybe you want to do that and that can be something to look forward to like helping out the environment because 
Usually if you help out the environment, it can make up for other people not doing it very well. And that's pretty fun actually. Something else that I think makes things interesting is like mapping out patterns within the world. For example, this has to do with the social aspect about the world. I think it's super interesting that we all have different languages and we're like on different sides of the world, but we all still have words for the same things. Like of course some things we don't describe, but like a lot. Like with all the words out there in the world, we have pretty much like all of them in common, almost. Like what? <laughs> we have such... I don't know. It's kind of amazing. I love seeing those types of patterns. Also seeing patterns within life because not just like historical patterns, but like, I don't know. Okay. It can be personal or it can be just kind of like life experience leads you to know about what humans tend to do or what happens globally, like in repetition, because it's another one of those things of like, mistakes or cycles of learning can cause you to like figure out what's ahead and there's like a reassurance in that of like even if something happens if it can relate to something else that happened or that i know about then maybe it won't be as scary the next time around that's why going through stuff is useful <laughs> um this is a group of them. So we have the final three for this video. It's very important to me. <laughs> Understanding others you might not have understood in the past. And I think this is a huge reason to live because like we can't experience everything. There's going to be something that we probably have a bias against or are ignorant about in some way. And once you find more understanding, like you pass that learning threshold, then you can't go back to not understanding something. Like, that's amazing. You permanently gained the knowledge. And now you can maybe find more acceptance and support for other human beings and other ex possibilities of how people live. And a lot of people talk about forgiveness through that, um, maybe if someone hasn't understood you, there's still that possibility and also like allowing yourself to be forgiven as well, like forgiving yourself for making those mistakes because a lot of people have done it. I'm sure like if you haven't understood something, someone also hasn't understood something about you, that's neither of your faults. It's just like how things go. It's another one of those things that just takes some pressure off once you allow understanding to be given or when well, you're receiving understanding from someone who might not have understood you in some way before or something you've been through or something about you or something you know. And, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was relaxing and you liked hanging out here. Sorry, I got scratched on a tree today as I was putting lights, on, like holiday lights on a tree. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I will be doing another one of these very soon. I hope you stick around to watch the next one and if you ever need a reminder, there's two other videos that I've made so far. Um, I'm very happy to provide you with company during this time. And once again, anything you're going through that might feel painful is temporary. I promise it's not always going to feel this awful. Things get better. Sometimes things get worse and then they get better. But no matter what, it's going to change. It won't feel like... To me, it's more, it's worse having pain that's like stagnant, that you're like, oh God, it's never gonna end. It's always gonna be like this. Because really that's like not possible, thank God. 
<laughs> so it's temporary. I am looking forward to seeing how you progress as a person. There is plenty of hope and you deserve to be here. So I hope you have better days ahead and I'm sending you all of the love. Let me know what you th think or if you relate to any of these things or if this brought up any memories or thoughts or reflections about life. <gasps> I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you very soon. Bye.